middle school, an ordinary school filled with ordinary kids with all the ordinary problems of growing up. But in my case, life was anything but ordinary. You see, I was raised by bugs. Get the picture? Out of the ordinary fairy tale without the fairy. A family that seems a little scary. A world with perfect people. You will find me anywhere but here. And the way you see me is pretty far from clear. A little different. Not every day. You can't judge me. It don't work. Well, we're off to our swing dancing class. Make sure to put the grubs to bed on time, Creepy. Check. Will do. Oh, they're sometimes restless before they go to sleep. A story always helps. I got it covered. Night, Mom. Night, Dad. Creepy! There's no point in sleeping. Okay, chill out, everybody. It's bedtime. Oh, come on, Creepy. Five more minutes. Matt, stay up. Matt, stay up. This story's called Snow Black and the Four Beetles in a deep, dark forest. Outside a rundown cottage, there was an apple hanging from an apple tree, and in the apple there lived a little moth larva. Every day, he watched a mysterious and beautiful girl dressed in black come frolic in the forest and play with her insect friends. But an evil queen was threatened by the scene and Snow Black's unique personal style. Compact mirror in my hand. Who's the fairest, coolest, most popular, and best dressed in all the land? Snow Black, of course. Never get what they see in that dark and dingy look. Uh, time to call in the fashion police. <whistles> Go find Snow Black, sink in your fangs, and then I'll be the fashion queen of all the land. Get her! Chases this beauty and why? The larva was worried, but impressed with Snow Black's grace under pressure and acrobatic skills. Snow Black sought shelter from the storm. And the tick. Tick! The tick! I must save Snow Black from this brute's attack! Hope they won't mind if I hide in their band shack for a while. Exhausted from her adventure, Snow Black began to snooze.
That's a new sound. How about that? A snoring beauty. Hey, that's a good title for a song. Snow Black told the four beetles of her terrible plight. The beetles were taken with her courage as well as her vast knowledge of the insect kingdom. They vowed to help her in any way they could. Never send a tick to do the job of a chick. Frustrated with her foiled plan, the evil teen queen concocted an even nastier scheme. Bubble, bubble. Snow Black is in major trouble. Ew, this stuff stinks. Now watch how the queen of the fashion police gets the job done. But lucky for Snow Black, her secret admirer was spying from his apple hideout. Keep Snow Black off the best dress list. <laughs> She's up to no good, that sneaky queen. I must tell Snow Black what I have seen. Hi -de -hi, ho -de -ho. Gusto Dumperino. <clears throat> I mean, here you go, Missy, of one of my organic apples. Don't believe your eyes! Grossness. It's like one of the problems with organic farming. Uh, it's the evil queen in disguise. Ahem, <clears throat> um, you know, like hard to get rid of all those nasty little <laughs> pests and stuff. Sick. Go on, then. A little yummy for the tummy. Eat it already! <laughs> Work is done, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Time for fun. I tried to warn her, but got thrown in the corner. <laughs> Quit your bawling, mate. This calls for desperate measures. Dung Beetle, crank up the volume. It's time to wake up Snow Black. There's nothing we can do but wait for her to wake up. They waited and waited. Days turned into weeks and weeks turned into months, but still the sleeping Snow Black did not stir. The most heartbroken of all was the moth larva. He vowed never to leave his sleeping beauty's side. And as the months passed, it began to grow warmer. Spring was in the air. So sad to go. Stomachache from that apple. Uh, have we met? I'm 
so hot. Ha, ha, pay, ha, 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 ha. No way! She totally does not get to wake up looking that cute and fly away with a prince! No! Like the Australian paralysis tick, feed on mammals' blood. Some ticks start out smaller than a grain of rice, but once they bite a host, they'll keep sucking its blood for days until they're 200 times their original size. you've done with the grid system, but double check that those streets are laid down at perfect right angles. And Budge, great job building those commuter train lines to the suburbs. See those other kids with just a bucket and a shovel? That looks fun. <gasps> My blueprint! I'll get it. Washed me ashore, and now I can't get back. I got gotcha. you. Thank you so, so, so much. I'll never forget this, ever. No biggie. No, I mean it. If there's ever any way I could repay you, I'll do it. Just say the word. Forget it. I'm happy to help. Next item on our beach day to do list. Sign up for Midlington Beach's annual surfing competition. I'm taking names in alphabetical order. Budge, you in? Absolutely. And you've been surfing since? Since yoga improved my balance and helped me become one with the elements. Carla, what about you? Are you serious? You want me to surf out there? It is the closest body of water then you've obviously never heard of the Curse of the Black Water Beach. The who? What? Now? Ugh, you guys would be so clueless without me. A long, long time ago. Pirates were searching this area for treasures when their ship hit this, like, giganto <laughs> rock and sank. <laughs> Ghosts have totally haunted these waters. Ah! Ooh, like scare the polka dots off your brand new bikini haunted. <laughs> that is the curse of Blackwater Beach. Uh curse? <laughs> Doesn't look like the curse is bothering them much. <laughs> okay, people, as entertaining as that was, story time's over. Let's stay focused on the surfing contest. Yeah, someone's gotta win that baby. It better be me. I want that trophy. It's shiny. Chris Alice, sign me up. Well, I'll be on shore where it's safe and where I can be head cheerleader for the contest. There's still one slot left. Anybody else want to try and win that trophy? Psst. Thanks again for saving me. 
I really, really appreciate it. What? Shh. It's fine. Just... Creepy! Excellent! The roster is now full. But I've never surfed before. That's why I'm offering a quick, easy-to-follow tutorial before the contest starts. To the water! Remember, surfing's easy. All you need is a basic knowledge of changing wind directions, nautical aerodynamics, and inner air balance physiology. It's a snap. Right. Total piece of cake. Remember, people! Points will be awarded for grace, style, and skill. Top scorer wins! Beach? Maybe Carl is right. Surfers wipe out all the time. Nothing supernatural about that. Plus, I really want that trophy. It's so shiny. Right behind you. Me, I think I'll stay on land. I'm suddenly not feeling so one with that element. I'm not sure this is such a great idea, but here I come. That's the spirit. <sighs> Can't say these are prime surfing conditions. all the wipeouts. Why? I told you I would do anything to repay you, including getting some of my barnacle friends to help you in the surfing contest. Look, you put my friends in danger. That's going way overboard. <laughs> overboard! I get it? Oh, overboard! <laughs> I'm not joking. I, I'm sorry. Truly, I, I'm really, really, really... Okay, so I got it. Just go tell your friends to leave my friends alone. All right, Surfer Dudes and Dudettes, let's do our final race to see who will claim this trophy! I'm in. Me too. It's so, so... Shiny. shiny. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Harry. Not only that, you 
did great. I'm getting it. I'm finally getting it. Time to calculate the winner. So, style points multiplied by the degree of difficulty added to the overall performance, and the winner with a total of 37 points is... Melanie! Yeah! Carla, I won that shiny trophy! And my pedicure matches my surfboard perfectly! This is the best day ever! Hello? Carla? When a barnacle sticks to something, it gets really attached. Barnacles glue themselves head first to a surface by releasing a super strong cement from their slug-like feet. Talk about a sticky situation. 